Now it is Velarde. And McClellan said earlier today was probably the best player for Los Angeles the preseason. He's made a big impact. Puts it out in front. That shot on net by Byfield. Stopped by Logan Thompson. Another opportunity. Stop! Right on cue. It's Velarde. First general question, Gabe, is this. You changed positions, it's happened over the last couple of years, but do you think you're more of a shooter as a winger than you were as a centerman? I mean, it depends who you're playing with, I think, more than the position. So if you play with a guy you know is like a pass first, then I, okay. Yeah. yeah, if I play with a guy that I, that's more tentative to shoot, like, then yeah, I know I gotta kinda maybe try and find the soft spot more, whereas I know like the best example I give you is Marty Furk. Mm -hmm. I knew playing with him, I got I got like, you gotta one feed of, him. I got the top, one of the top scorers like, in the yeah. world. So. Yeah. so watch here right here, that's, that's body position, right? You're protecting? Yeah. Just trying to create some separation if you can. I obviously have the advantage, Hutz doesn't have a stick there. And then I see Q over there. I hit it over to, to Q, he's coming down. It was a long time before the puck went in the net. Yeah, Q, like I said, Q makes a, a great play there on the boards by getting it to me. I see he's coming down, so I, I go back to the other side where the space is at, and then he continues to the net so I can hit him. How much communication is going on here? It seems like there's so much happening so quick that it's would be tough to talk. No, it's constant communication. I think that's important. The best example is Dewey. You hear Dewey. I remember last year when I was getting scratched, I was in the stands, I could hear Dewey in, in the top sections. And that's that's what makes like the best players. They're always constantly communicating. Uh, obviously, there are reads that happen on the ice. You have to see things. But yeah, there is constant communication. I do remember calling for, for this puck. You try and create like triangles throughout throughout the, the O zone as, as the, the forward line. And you see that in the goal, it's a perfect example. It's another triangle right there. We had some audio on this where you could hear bing! Yeah, they said that. That's a nice, nice now, sound to hear as a now, player. <laughs> when do you know the bing is good or when do you know the bing is bad, meaning it doesn't go in? Um, or do you? You don't unless you see the bug. Actually, if I, if I don't recall it, yeah, I didn't see it go in until after. That's why you see me. I go back the other way. But uh, yeah, definitely hearing the ding and then seeing across the goal lines a, a great feeling.